Friday, right? It almost right? doesn't look real. I know, it's just <laughs> gorgeous out there. Well, so you might think you're being religious about applying sunblock, but every now and then you end up with one of those sunburns. All those beach days with inadequate sunscreen can add up to a lot of skin damage. Yeah, so joining us now with some ways to reverse skin damage is Jessica Bianculli. She's a esthetician and the founder of Skin Bar New York. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. All right, let's jump right in and talk about what does skin damage look like and how does it happen? Sure, so sun damage really looks like brown spots. All of a sudden you start to get either these brown stains on the cheek or these little speckles of brown spots. So what we, um, what we offer really in clinic is a lot of IPL, chemical peels, microneedling, variety of treatments to really reverse the damage that the sun causes to begin with. So let me ask you this, how can you tell if it's sun damage or you have another skin condition you're dealing with? So you really want to make sure that you're seeing a professional. The way that we normally tell is when you actually take that spot and you spread it out, it starts to scatter, you know that you're dealing with sun damage. However, if you start to spread it and you notice that it's really not moving and it's staying very still, where that's normally known as melasma. It's also mm -hmm. known as the pregnancy mask. And that has to more to do with the hormone imbalance. So there are different treatments depending on what type of, of pigmentation you're looking at. Okay, so is sun damage the same thing as skin cancer or a type of cancer? So sun damage can eventually lead to cancer and that's where you really want to make sure that you're seeing your dermatologist every year just to get an overall checkup and just to check all of those sunspots to make sure that nothing is cancerous. So let's talk about this. You have some ways to reverse sun damage if someone's dealing with that versus something done by a professional called a photofacial. Explain what that is and who it's good for. So the photofacial is also known as an IPL treatment and it stands for intense pulse light. So that treatment, what it does is it's using light energy to really pull up pigmentation up and it brings it up to the surface and almost your face starts to look as if there's coffee grinds on the skin. Um, you don't have to be alarmed with that. It normally lasts for one to two days, and then it just starts to flake off. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is you're pulling up the pigmentation, making it flake off, and that's really a treatment that you want to make sure that you're doing with a professional. Okay, uh, Jessica, what about for people with a little bit more melanin or you know a deeper, richer skin tone? Right. Does sun damage look a lot like the same thing? So sun damage can look the same, um, but with darker skin types, you definitely don't want to treat them with laser. You want to stay away from laser. Darker skin types have biologically more melanin, and melanin is really what we're trying to pull out. So the laser sometimes can't tell the difference between the sun damaged uh, uh, melanin that comes from sun damage versus the melanin that's already in the skin. So for people with darker skin types, the most important thing is to be on home care that actually helps to, pro to lighten the pigmentation and prevent future pigmentation from happening. So a lot of times what we do is we put our clients on two weeks worth of home care with ingredients like kojic acid, arbutin. Those are really great lightening agents that help to lighten pigmentation. They prevent future pigmentation from happening. And then when they come in for treatment, we like to treat with chemical peels and microneedling and kind of alternate between both of those treatments so we can control the amount of inflammation we're causing in the skin. I know there's a lot of different options out there for people. What <laughs> yeah. would those in-office options cost? So they can start around 300 and they can go anywhere up to 500 for treatment. Mm -hmm. Chemical peels typically tend to be a little bit less expensive, ranging around 150 to 250. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you can always, as long as you're going to somebody, they can always usually customize a good treatment plan for you. Okay, if we're looking to save a little bit of money, what are some things yeah. that we can do at home to kind of, that you would re recommend? So to prevent sun damage, yeah. definitely vitamin C serum and sunscreen. Vitamin C serum is like your knight in shining armor. You want to make sure that that vitamin C is actually in a glass opaque jar because then that means that the vitamin C won't become unstable. Um, and then the other thing is you want a sunscreen that is a mineral-based sunscreen. So that means that the main active ingredient is zinc or titanium dioxide. The other ingredients that you want to use are lightening serums. So mm -hmm. pigmentation is caused when you have an amino acid and an enzyme. They come together and they make this melanin baby. Mm -hmm. So the lightening serums, their job is kind of to act as birth control and to prevent that melanin baby from even being formed to begin with. 
So that's why you want to make sure you're looking for products that have kojic acid, RPU, and those are my two favorite lightening agents. So is sun damage ever just too bad to be reversed? Some people are out there so long and they, you know, they pride themselves on being in the sun for years. Is it possible yeah. that it's ever just too bad? So if you come in with, let's say you're 60 years old and, you know, you're coming in with 40 years of age yeah. of sun damage, we can reverse it a little bit. You're not going to look like you're 25 again. So we have to keep the expectations <laughs> Is there anything you realistic. have that does that? <laughs> <laughs> if I did, that'd be a like magic wand. I'm still waiting for that. Um, Me too. But what we can do is we can reverse it to a certain degree. So I have had clients that come in with that very leathery skin, and we have been able to really get an improvement on the skin. Um, but one of the things that you want to look for that we can't reverse is hypopigmentation. So hyperpigmentation, mm -hmm. that's your dark spots. Mm -hmm. Hypo are those Love white it. spots that can sometimes be freckles in between. That actually means the melanocyte in the skin has died. And that's really something that's very hard to reverse. But what you can do is if you do enough exfoliation and resurfacing treatments, you can try to blend it into the skin. But it's really okay. hard to reverse that. All right. Well, Jessica, thank you so yes. much for joining us today. No, thank you so much for having me. You guys look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see we'll you. definitely Thanks. protect our skin yes. as we head out this weekend. Take definitely. care. Vitamin C and sunscreen. Yes. Thank you.